everyone, today I will be doing a blow dryer review video for you guys and I'll be reviewing two products here. The very first one is the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. This is so highly raved. It is quite expensive. This is 500 Canadian dollars. So I'm going to show you actually an alternative that I prefer. It's much cheaper and it actually performs much better than the Dyson. So which one is this? This is the Panasonic Ionity silent blow dryer. The model number is listed below in case you're interested in purchasing this. But I'm going to be talking about both of these side by sides and I'll talk about the pros and cons of each and then so you can better see why I think the Panasonic is actually a better buy. So let's first talk about packaging. With the Dyson you're looking at a really ginormous but sleek and beautiful box that comes with the hair dryer. It actually has a sleeve on it much resembling an iPhone. You pop it out and it resists and it shows your white box and you open it up and your hair dryer is inside. It's really nicely protected and it's a really good quality box. When looking at the Panasonic, it's just a regular cardboard box like this one, but it is much smaller so it's a lot easier to bring with you home. So now let's take a look at the different attachments that came with both these hair dryers. With the Dyson, you can see once you open the box, it will have a gigantic diffuser right here. The neat thing about the Dyson is that the all the extension pieces easily just magnetically click onto the hair dryer. You don't have to turn or twist, so there is less wear and tear for that. So aside from the diffuser, there's also a regular nozzle, just like any regular blow dryer. And there's also a concentrator, which is great for stylus, or if you want to get to certain parts of your hair, this is a really narrow opening, which will also do that. In terms of the Panasonic, there is actually no extra add-ons for this product. It just comes with a regular nozzle that you can turn and remove if you wish, and that's about it. In terms of miscellaneous items that also came with both these hair dryers, when looking at the Dyson, it also comes with a non-slip mat that you can put your hair dryer on top of it, as well as a hanging strap, which you can attach to the back of the hair dryer to hang on the wall. As well as for the hair dryer, there's also a removable filter at the bottom. You just have to turn it, and then it removes this part so you can get all the dust out. So that's quite nice to clean the hair dryer. When looking at the Panasonic, one thing to note is that this hair dryer is actually really compact because you can just snap it and fold it in half. As well as it also has double negative ions built into the side of the hair dryer right here. So what do negative ions do for your hair? Actually when you blow on it, it will make your hair more glossy and smooth so that it's actually easier for you to brush after. So another really quite important factor is weight. When looking at the Dyson, this hair dryer is actually really, really heavy. It's almost like a dumbbell or Thor's hammer if you want to put it that way. The cord is quite heavy as well. This weighs 1.8 pounds. Whereas the Panasonic is a fraction of the weight. This is only 0.5 pounds. So it's not only compact, but it's also lightweight for you to carry around and travel with. Another difference in the hair dryers is the cord length. With the Dyson, you're getting 9 feet of cord length, which is actually a lot longer than regular hair dryers. So it's really great for professionals, especially if the plug is not close to you. You have no trouble hitting that. With the Panasonic, you're going to get your regular 6 feet of cord. So a lot shorter, but you know it's enough if you're going to plug this into your bathroom or under your vanity table. Both these hair dryers are actually made in Southeast Asia. The Dyson, you'll find it being made in Malaysia, and the Panasonic is made in Thailand. So now let's take a look at the buttons because it's quite different on both of these hair dryers. With the Dyson, you'll see that the buttons are on the back side of the hair dryer, which is not your normal because usually that's where you grip it and your regular buttons should be here, but it's at the back, so it's a little bit difficult to get to and it's a new learning curve. But you have here your on-off button, your cool shot button and then you have three settings for your fan right here you can do low medium high as well as your hotness low medium high with your Panasonic it's more of your regular hair dryer so all the buttons are where it usually is right where your fingers are you have your off button you have your low cool you have your low heat as well as a high heat it's just a slider one button very easy to maneuver and of course we must talk about the noise because everyone's been saying that the Dyson is really quiet compared to a regular blow dryer. Is that true? Well compared to a regular hair dryer you're looking at about 89 decibels of sound. The Dyson only has 79, 79 decibels of sound so 10 decibels less. This is what it sounds like when it is on at full blast. So definitely a lot quieter than a regular blow dryer, but I don't know if you heard it, but I heard a really loud, almost high pitch frequency. And I find that it's quite annoying. It does kind of resemble their vacuum cleaners when I'm blow drying my hair, so it's actually quite loud around my ears. 
When looking at the Panasonic hair dryer, this one is what I really call a silent hair dryer. This one is only 49 decibels of sound. Take a look at this. So much, much, much quieter work when you're compar comparing the two sounds of this and this. And of course, we must talk about the power of these two hair dryers. The Dyson is a very powerful hair dryer. You're looking at 1600 watts of power. And if you're going to turn it on and blow it on my face, this is what it looks like. So extremely powerful. The Panasonic, on the other hand, only has 1500 watts of power. And this is what it looks like when it blows in my face. And finally, the ultimate test. How long does both these hair dryer take to dry my long hair? So I'll do an experiment to show you exactly how long it took. So what's the verdict? Is the Dyson really worth $500? Can you get a better hair dryer? I would say of course you can. You can definitely get the Panasonic. This is only a fraction of the price, only $40. And you know what? I think it actually performs a lot better than the Dyson and it's much quieter. So do consider this. This is actually a fantastic hair dryer that I definitely recommend. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.